So this week I've got two really cool things for you. One of those really beautiful, warm, good news stories that's come out of this pandemic. And the other one is a little bit of a, a little bit of a marketing lesson for you. So I'm blessed to have a friend in a friend and long-term client in Susan Garrett. And Susan Garrett's an amazing dog trainer, one of the, the best dog trainers in the world, has been on, has won more world championships than she can count. And she has a, a, an online business where she sells dog training online. Been very, very successful at this. And Susan spent months working on a course called Homeschool the Dog. And this course is going to sell for $197. And based on her past results, she was gonna do really, really well with this course and help a lot of people. Well, with this current pandemic, Susan, who is all about making dogs' lives better and dog, dog owners' lives better, and she's incredibly dedicated to it, she basically put her business on hold and said, I am going to give this course away. So her whole goal is to give this course to 100,000 people for free. Because as Susan says, right now, there's a lot of people that are stressed out and the dogs in our lives absorb that stress. So she's worried about the dogs and all of a sudden their routine has changed and the amount of exercise they're getting has changed. And oh, by the way, so many people are now adopting dogs, but she's also worried about what's gonna become those newly adopted dogs who are around stressful owners that probably don't know how to train the dog. So she's decided to release Homeschool the Dog for free. There's no upsells, there's nothing, just you can go get it, homeschoolthedog.com. You can go get it. This is a world-class training. It was designed to sell for $197. After this pandemic, it will sell for $197. It will be an amazing, so if you have a dog, whether it's, it's a young dog, old dog, new dog, doesn't matter, homeschool the dog, it will be fun. Give it, the, let your kids go through it and train your dog. It will show them how to play games with their dog and train your dog. It, it, it's, Susan is amazing, her training is incredible. Go check it out, homeschool dog. So that's just, it's wonderful to see so many people stepping up and it's wonderful to see Susan stepping up in this way. And so Susan came to me and she had this idea of if she could get other big influencers, people who had large followings, if she could get them to try to tell their tribes, to send an email, to post on social about it, then she could get to that 100,000 dogs' lives change for the better. And oh, by the way, there's a whole nonprofit hook in here. Susan's not only giving the course away, but she's giving a dollar to, uh, well, to a nonprofit for every person who joins. The nonprofit, of course, is dog related. So Susan came to me and said, how can I get other folks, you know, influencers, leaders, thought leaders, experts to tell their people about this? Because if they, if they love dogs and maybe, maybe they're teaching about meditation or whatever, if they love dogs, maybe they'll tell their people about it because some of the people on our list our dog owners. So she brought me this one, this email. She thought about like sending to all the influencers and the experts she knew to try to get them to, to, to mail. And it was, and Susan's brilliant and she's a good marketer and she's a good business person, but she's also really in her head. And this, this email is really long and um, complicated. And so I looked at it and I was like, okay, there, we need a different hook because these are busy people. And to get them to read this email, we have to hook them. And we, and we all, there has to be a hook for why they would want to, to send the email. And so I basically rewrote Susan's email and I, I probably cut the number of words by about 80 or 90%. And it basically, what I thought is like, what is going to get these people interested? And what's gonna get them to read the email? And what's gonna get them to act? And the thing I thought of is like, Everyone who has a following loves to be a hero to their following. I'm like, this is a great way for them to be a hero to their followers, to their tribe, to their email list, or whatever. And so I rewrote the email, and it basically, I'm going from memory, but it basically said, do you love dogs? And do you love your tribe? And do you want your tribe to love you? because I've got a spectacular way for your tribe to fall in love with you. I've got this amazing training for, for people who, for, I've got this amazing dog training 
and I'm giving it away 100% free. There's no hooks, there's no upsells, there's no cross-sells, there's nothing but a world-class free training, and, I, and, and you can give it to all of your followers for free, and they will love you for it because of the value you're giving them. And then it went on to give them the links and stuff like that. And so, that, so Susan took that and ran with it, and now she's starting to roll that out and, and share it with other influencers. And so the hook was all about, first you gotta, I think if people don't care whatsoever about dogs, maybe you're not gonna get them. So that's why I led with, do you love dogs? Not do you own do you are you a dog owner, do you have a dog? Because not everyone who's a dog lover owns a dog. So I figured get them hooked with that line, and then, and then what's in it for them? What's in it for them is that they have a free gift, of, a high value free gift that they can share with their followers and look like a hero. So if you thought, if, you, if you're interested, I can actually take maybe next week, if you leave a comment for me, if you're interested, I'll, and maybe I'll do a little, I'll take the actual emails and I'll do a breakdown and show you exactly how I did it. But yeah, check out Homeschool the Dog. And if you have a list or a following, I'll put a link down below of, to Susan's page on, that describes how you can share this with your followers and be a hero to your followers. And then when you're thinking about your marketing, the way you come up with that hook is you, you have to figure, you always have to put yourself in the position of your reader, of the position of who's ever getting your, mess, your message and figure out like what is the thing that, they, that, that would really hook them in, that would be of real interest to them. So I'm Jeff Walker, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me. Check out Homeschool the Dog, and, uh, and then if you have a following, there'll be a link down below to, to, share, to, to get the information on how to share with your followers. And let's go get them this week.